My brother had opened Lord Stowe's Bakery in 1989. He developed his own version of the pastel donata, now known as Andrew's Egg Tart. Our mother used to make a big custard pie, so that's probably the inspiration for Andrew. The goal back in the day was really just to run a business and be independent. The Chinese love of this product really took everyone by surprise. How did the term Portuguese egg tart come about? That really originates here in Macau because the Chinese are very familiar with egg tarts in their dim sum and they're very familiar with the custard tart in Hong Kong, which has a short crust pastry. So if they've seen this, although Andrew may say, it's not a Portuguese egg tart, it's my egg tart, it's my recipe, Chinese staff have quickly said, oh, it's a Pol Pot Dan Tart, a Portuguese egg tart. And if you just call it egg tart, it gets confused with the Hong Kong egg tart. That's how it spread. I just think it's kind of like a nickname that people at first don't know what this product was, so they called it Po Tat. But if people, as in on paper writing that we are selling Po Tat, then I would say we are on the Lodan Tat because we don't claim that we are original from Portugal. Something I really respect, they don't claim to be Portuguese. That's what people call. For tourists, that's all the same. Doesn't matter if there's a Portuguese or the Macanese one, they think that's all the same. Portuguese egg tart is actually a cake that is being produced since the 18th century. When people compare both egg tarts, many people comment, oh, we should taste more egg, it should taste more egg. So I think it's a characteristic that they feel in the Macau one, is a strong taste of egg. The difference for me when you eat both of them, you notice when you bite the Portuguese egg tart, our custard is a little bit more liquid, it's, uh, it's more creamy. The Macau one is more like a pudding, so basically you, you bite it and it, it stays firm. The custard inside is very different because Andrew used a more English twist to this. I like the Macanese egg tart, I like the Portuguese ones, but it's important, especially for locals and for tourists, to know that they are different. For me, it's three different products. There's Jungkook Dan Ta, which is famous in Hong Kong, which is made differently. There's no caramelization on top. Pastel de Nata, Pastel de Berlin, Potat is from Portugal. But our egg tart is lots of those egg tart, which is the pastry is flaky and then with English custard on top and then we bake it together. The Portuguese egg tart is pastry outside. Inside is a custard that we pre-cook. The only thing that is going to cook inside the oven is the eggs. The Macau egg tart, the process is basically the same, but all the ingredients are raw. So when they go to the oven, they end up cooking all inside the oven. It's cooked at a high temperature exactly the same way as the Portuguese would do to enable the sugar to brulee to the top. Portuguese do love to have a darker color, whereas the Chinese prefer what they call less burnt. When they come out of the oven and I put it in my mouth, I just feel I'm in Portugal. When you achieve something that it really makes you close your eyes and you travel back to Portugal in the single bite, that's, that's very emotional for me. We kept to the same recipe since my father's time. So the pastry itself and the custard itself, we don't adjust it. We just stick to what we are and we keep doing that every day. 